Hey everyone, happy uh, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, December 30th. Yeah, I almost said 20th, I'm going backwards. December 30th. One more day after today and 2015 is over. Kelly and I are here at the movies. Like I said in yesterday's vlog, uh, we were going to try to make it, and we are making it. So, there's a show at 5.15. It's 5 minutes to 5 right now. And we're going to see if we can get into this one. It's just the regular um, regular movie. It's not 3D or anything, but that's all good. I don't need 3D. Ellie's all dressed up in her uh, Star Wars attire today. the camera she's in a crap mood I don't even know why I brought her here because you don't get do special things when you're having an attitude but anyway it is what it is welcome to a teenager hormones 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 hopefully you guys having a good week and ready for the new year um, I'm ready Hopefully it's going to be a better year than this past one, which this year wasn't too, too bad, but it can always get better, right? So, here we are at a usual place. We live really close to this place now since we moved. It was only maybe 10 minutes, something like that, and we were here. So, there's not really too many people in line, which is a good thing. Well, some people were to see Star Wars, just plain clothes and nothing to do with Star Wars. Yeah, like me. Oh well, I don't have Star Wars clothes, sorry. It's possible. Yeah, it's pretty empty, huh? You don't have to wear Star Wars clothes to see a movie. Um, it's special. It's like one of the best movies ever. Doubt it. So. Look, boys on the hood. Yeah, that's the chipmunk baby. Yeah. It's Alvin too. Alvin. It's Alvin. No, not Alvin. Yeah, it's Alvin Road, I guess, is it? Where's the 515s See, it says no 515s on here. So I'm just coming back to give you a quick review of the movie. Um, unfortunately, Ellie is not wanting to do cameras today. So um, I guess maybe another day she'll give her review since she doesn't want to do it now. Anyway, um, everything went well. I um, enjoyed the movie. It was really good. Uh, there were some parts I guess you could say that it would be better if you've seen the other movies to catch on to what's going on. But... Um, you know, pretty much um, it was understandable, even if you've never seen the movies. So, I thought it was really good. Lots of action, which is always good. A couple new characters. A um, couple things that are different. Um, changes and things. Um, and thank God for this app. I don't know if you've all heard of this app before. called Run P. Let me take it off so you can see what the icon looks like. And they had advertised this one time uh, before the movie, one of the movies I went to go see, right here, Run P. And then basically what you do 
is um, you pick the movie you're going to watch. Like we had Star Wars. And then it will tell you um, get vibration alerts for each pee time. And it will tell you in the movie when there's not a lot of action or not anything real serious going on so that you can go to the bathroom and not miss too much but I have an overactive bladder so you know this movie was two hours and 16 minutes so it was not possible for me to sit through it without going to the bathroom but basically what you do is you just push this button that says get vibration alerts my phone will go off and then it will tell you when to start the timer so as soon as the Lucasfilm logo fades out you hit start timer and then it will tell you it will count down and tell you when you can go to the bathroom and it says right here Han Solo says the force the Jedi it's all true and then that's when the time starts and it tells you there's no plot development and only a little character development during this pee time a secondary character is introduced at the very end so I mean this thing it's really cool because it also it will um, let you know how many more minutes to the end of the movie and then it will also tell you that if there's any you know special things after in the credits you know how sometimes they put little you know um, bloopers or something at the end of the movie it will tell you if there's anything that you need to stand stand around and wait for so this particular maybe it said there was nothing at the end so you could just get up and leave so um that thing is just awesome I mean I was so glad when they invented that because I don't know about you guys but a two hour and 60 minute movie I cannot sit through it without using the bathroom one time at least <laughs> and that's what I did I went once so yeah so I missed a couple minutes of it but I was able to come back and you know still you know keep track of what was going on but I thought it was a good movie and you know it's weird that I haven't really got into Star Wars until this past week um, where I've watched we did watch Return of the Jedi last night I think I might have mentioned that and um, I thought that was one of the best ones of the three that I watched so far so we have um, three more and that's um, The Phantom Menace Attack of the Clones and the Revenge of the Sith and that's the three we have left to, to catch up on so I give the, the maybe a thumbs up and probably if I had to rate it I would rate it probably out of 10 I'd probably give it a 9 because something happened in the movie I didn't like and I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it but one of the characters um, was um, killed off and kind of sucks so anyway 9 out of 10 which is excellent um, really good movie um, of course there is a cliffhanger at the end so there will be a part 2 to this it's not over yet for Star Wars um, I believe Ali said something about uh, 2016 it was due out the next movie so that's 2016 is in like two days which brings me to the next topic um, Basically, um, in two days, January 1st, here's our one year YouTube anniversary. We started making videos um, January 1st, 2015. And it's been one year, um, and it's been a real rough journey. And I might have mentioned this before. Um, I did see a video with the Knife Knowles where Austin was talking about how a lot of YouTubers, they go off of, they feed on numbers. And I, I left a comment, but, you know, they usually don't respond. But I left a comment to the effect that, you know, it's really kind of hard not to feed off numbers when you're on YouTube. I know most of us do this for memory's sake and everything. But, you know, you kind of want people to watch your, your material, too. And, you know, I had a goal back in, I believe, uh, what was it, July or August? not sure but this month I had a goal and I said that I wanted at least 100 subscribers by my one year anniversary so if you've checked my channel lately then you know that I did not make the goal and um, we have 87 so far and you know that is kind of discouraging because you know I've watched other channels and I'm not gonna throw out names I'm not gonna hate on anybody but I watch other channels where they they have very bad editing 
like they'll have um, title, date or something like for when you add words to your video and it won't even have anything punched in there. It's just they threw that in there and they didn't write anything and it looks really unprofessional and crappy and you know I've seen other videos and you know I know ours can be boring at times however I've seen videos with bad editing bad uh bad content and they have like triple the viewers that we have and subscribers and I just don't understand how this works when you know people that make far less quality videos um, I'm not saying ours are the best and they're not by far not the best because I don't have like I said early on in the game in the beginning I don't have little babies and little cute little kids to you know watch grow up and all that because I'm 48 years old and my kids are grown except for Allie which is 15 but um, I don't have all that little extra stuff and I do I'm guilty I do watch a lot of channels um, where they have small children or babies so, I mean, I understand that it's fun to watch little kids and all that, and I don't have that, and, you know, um, I know our channel can get boring, but so does the ones that have 100,000 subscribers. They get boring, too, but people seem to like watching their boring. So, I don't want to go on and on about this, but, you know, it is a little discouraging that we couldn't even get 100 subscribers in a year. Um, but, however, the ones that we do have, you know, you know, kudos to all you guys because I've gotten, recently I got a, um, a message on my video from P. Poppy about how much she enjoys our vlogs and that we've come a long way because when she started we had 14 subscribers and now we have 87. So, I mean, you know, people like that that really enjoy the vlogs and really, um, you know, comment and, you know, say good things about the channel you know that is encouraging you know even though <laughs> I feel like that sometimes nobody really wants to watch our videos um, I guess it could be worse but you know I just really wish that we could have more subscribers um, you know at least a hundred um, for the first year I mean I didn't think that was too much to ask for but like I said, you know, I guess it's just, it's difficult. And like, you know, like I said, I was watching Knife Knows and they were talking about this. And, you know, it's just, it's just discouraging when you're making videos. And we have like 178 videos up now, you know, over the past year. Um, so, I mean, it's not like I don't post at all, you know, like one a month or something. And I did say that if I didn't reach my goal by January 1st that I wasn't going to post, but maybe two videos a month or something like that so unless something special was going on so I don't know if I'm gonna still you know go by that you know statement and only post twice a month since uh, we don't have any that many viewers anyway but um yeah I'm just rambling now but I just wanted to put that out there that you know one year anniversary in two days January 1st 2016 is one year of our YouTube channel and you know, like I said, I don't want to leave out the people because I do have some people that watch us that are very, very interested and enjoy our vlogs and actually miss it when I don't post anything. So I need to thank those people, you know, for being encouraging and for watching. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, so, as always, thank you for watching, everybody. Um, and please don't forget to like, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Have a good night. Bye.